Guys, in this video, you will see how you can share your business reviews on Instagrams as Reels automatically. So guys, if you have a page on Google My Business and you are getting ratings and reviews for your business on that page and you want to share the good reviews and five star ratings with your Instagram audience, this automation is for you. And here you just have to connect Google My Business as the trigger of the workflow and after that, as and when you are getting a five star rating, a real video will be created out of create a mat application and the same real video, which is going to showcase your ratings and reviews will be shared on your Instagram automatically. So you do not have to manually see when you are getting five star ratings and you do not have to manually create a reel and you do not have to manually post it as well. So it will save a ton of your time and you can actually focus on your business. And guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. So we are setting up this automation using Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and you will reach this dashboard of Pavli Connect application. And from here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here in this name field you can give a name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here. So guys I have given the name as share business ratings on Instagram and after that click on create button. And you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So the trigger here is that event, event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response of the consequence towards the trigger. So in the trigger guys, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response or the consequence of the trigger. Okay. So guys here in our use case, uh, getting a five star rating on Google, my business page is going to act as a trigger. And after that, we are going to share that, uh, we are going to create a reel that will be the action. Okay. So from this choose app field, you have to choose Google, my business application. After that, you have to select the trigger event as new review. Okay. Then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection and then click on sign in with Google. And from here, you have to select your business, business Google account. Okay. Then you have to provide additional access to your account. Just click on continue from here and it will be connected in a few seconds like this. You can see the authorization is successful and we are connected. And here it is asking for the business accounts name. So the name of my business account is Parampara and the location is also this. Okay. So I have selected it from here and this is my Google business page. You can see this is the uh, page of Google, my business of this business. Okay. Now when I'm going to click on save and send test request button, uh, a five star or any kind of review that you have most recently got, will be fetched here in this response section. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see it started showing this response. And here it is showing the star rating as five. So uh, we got a five star rating at this date. Okay. And you can see the profile photo of the person who have given this rating. This is the name of the person who have given this rating. This is the updated time. And here, uh, we have replied to this person as well. You can see, thank you for a kind words. And this person also have provided a review, which is this very good services. Okay. Right. So you can see the same uh, review here also on your Google, my business page here. You can see this is that this is the review that we are talking about. So it fetched a random review from our uh, Google, my business page. Okay. And Fortunately, we got five star rating as well. So guys, uh, we only want to share five star ratings on Instagram. We do not want to share bad reviews or ratings. We just want to share good reviews and five star ratings. So 
For that, we are going to apply a filter here, filter feature of Pavli Connect. With the help of filter, you can filter out some particular details from this trigger step from this data. So I want that uh, when only we got star five star ratings, then only a reel will be created and shared. So here in this filter section, just click on filter in the section step. And here it is asking, uh, up, select the label. So here I'm going to select this label that we have received here in the trigger, the star rating label. Okay. So to select this, you just have to click here. And from this Google My Business option, it will appear here in the drop down. When you click on it, you will find all the data here only. From here, map this star rating label. Okay. And make the filter type equals to and put the value here as F I V E that is five. Okay. Right. Now click on save and send test request button. And here you can see the condition is true. So when you get the five star rating, then the workflow will continue. The condition will be true. Okay. And after that, what we want, we want to create a real video for that. We are using create a mat application. This is create a mat. And this is a template of the video that we are using to create the reel. Okay. Here you can see this is the video template we have. So just click here on this plus icon. And from the section step, search for create a Okay. And in the action event, select this create single render option, create single render, then click on connect from here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API token of create a So you'll find this in under the project settings. Let me show you how you can find this. So first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of create a and from here, you will find this three dots on the corner, click on it. And from here, you will find this project settings option, click on it. And here, when you scroll down, you will find this API key option, click to reveal the key, then click on copy, and then paste it here. And then click on save and you'll be connected with create a <clears throat> So we are connected. And here it is asking for the template name of the video uh, that you're using. Okay. So we are using a video template to create a reel. And my video template is this one named as search field W slash rating. Okay. So I'm going to search the name. Here it is search field template. I have selected. Now we have this output format, frame rate, render scale, width and height, all the options to create uh, a video out of template. But right now I have already set all the parameters inside the template. And I just want to modify a few things. And for that, we are going to use modifications option at the last. So you can just learn about what are modifications by clicking on this modification word written in blue, and you will reach this page. And here you can uh, read uh, modification is used to apply changes to a template before it's rendered. Okay. And you have to provide a key value pair of the uh, elements that you have in uh, uh, in the template video and you have to provide the key value pair of the elements in this modification field okay so guys in this template you can see so in this template you can see guys we have uh, many elements like the cursor okay the composition and the text and a call to action button we have many things here these are all the elements we have in this template and every element has a specific key ID. Okay, so you can change the value of that element or you can change that whole element by passing a value of that key ID of a particular element inside this workflow. And you have to pass the value in this format. You can see you can just copy this format like this. And here it is asking for the key ID of an element and the value that you want to change. Okay, or you want to pass on. So guys, uh, in this video, in this particular video template, let me show you, I want to place the star rating. Let me show you where I want to place it. Here guys, in this uh, uh, field, I want to place the name of the person who have uh, provided the star ratings. And here I also want to share the reviews that I got. Okay. So here uh, we are providing all these things in this call to action. Uh, field or element. 
So this call to action field or element has a specific key ID and you can find that key ID by clicking on this use template button. Under use template, you will find this API integrations option. Click on it and here you can see we got these uh, key IDs and the values, existing values. The key ID and the value, the key ID and the value. And here you can see this last one is the key ID of this field. Okay, this element. So what you have to do, just open the key ID and copy this key ID first. And paste this key ID here in your workflow in place of this key one word. Okay, and in this in place of this value one, we are going to map the data from above step. From this Google My Business new review step or the trigger step, I'm going to map uh, the name of the person who have given us the ratings. This is the name, map the name label. And also, I want to share the review we got. And we got the review as this very good services must visit once, okay? So I have mapped both of these things. So when you map the things like this, what will happen in real time after setting up this automation, whenever you are going to get a new review or five star rating, uh, a, re a review with a five star rating, this workflow is going to trigger. And after that, these labels are going to change and new values will be passed on every time. Okay. So let's see how the video is created. I'm going to click on save and send test request now and a new video with new values will be created using creator man. Here you can see guys, we got a new video URL here. Let me just open it. And here you can see we got a new video created. You can see the video and let me just, oh, okay. And here you can see guys in place of the elements, the name is placed here, Gary Monroe and the review also with the five star ratings also. Okay, so this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done uh, creating the video and uh, creating a reel actually. And now we are going to create this same reel in Instagram. For that, just click here on this plus icon. And from this another action step, search for Instagram for business. Okay. And here you have to search for the action event as create real video. Then click on connect here. All right, from here select add new connection, then click on connect with Instagram for business. And as I have already logged in in Instagram, it got auto automatically collect connected. It might bring you to the login window also, but I am logged in, so it got connected. And here you can see it is asking for the account name you are using in Instagram. So the name of my account is Joe, you can see. Okay, this is my account named as Jane Daniels Joe and the account name is Joe only. And here it is asking for the video URL that you want to create reel of. So here I'm going to map this video URL that we have created using creator mat. Okay, so to map it here, you just have to click here. And from this last step, map this URL like this. And if you want to provide a caption, you can provide a caption as well. So I'm providing the caption as new review. Okay, right. And here, let me click on save and send test request. And a video ID is created here of uh, for Instagram. Now guys, you can publish this real video on Instagram for that you just have to click here on this plus icon and you have to search for Instagram business again. Okay. And now you have to select the action event as publish video. Okay, publish video, then click on connect. Now you can use your saved connection, all the connections that you make here with applications are saved in your account. So if you want to make the connections again, in a different workflow or in a same workflow, you can use your saved connections. For that, you have to keep this existing connection option selected. And from here, you can see the list of all the existing connections that you have. From here, you can use any of your saved connections. For that, you just have to click on save and you will be connected again. You can see we are connected. And here it is asking for the account. So that is Joe already selected. And here it is asking for the video ID. So we got the video ID generated here like this. So I'm just going to map it here like this. Okay. 
Now you can check your connection with Instagram by clicking on save and send test request and a new video will be published here in the real section. Okay, here. Right. So let me click on save and send test request here. And here you can see it started showing another video ID. That means a new reel is published. Let me show you. I'm just going to refresh the reel section. And here you can see guys, we got a new reel published and you can see the video. You can see the caption new review and the video is the same as we have created using Creatomat. And you can see the name is also appearing here with the five star ratings and the review. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here in this workflow. After that, whenever you are going to get a review and it, if it is a five star review, the, the workflow is going to run and start publishing your video on Instagram. Okay. And the workflow is going to run in the background. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.